After spending four nights at Morgan's Bluff, we weighed anchor on Friday morning at about 6.30 and bypassed Nassau and New Providence and continued on a total of about 83 miles and anchored for the night at Highborn Key. Taking the advice of several of our boating friends, we decided not to go ashore at Highborn and only stayed there one night, then taking a short 16-mile run the following day down to Shroud Key. Shroud Key is uh, part of the Exuma Keys Land and Sea Park. The park was established in 1958 by the Bahamian Parliament. The park stretches out for 22 nautical miles and is approximately 4 nautical miles on each side of numerous keys. One thing that continues to amaze us is how small the boating community is. We hooked up with some old friends from Maine, Dan and Kathy on Willie Dawes. We first met them in Maine in the summer of 21, and here we are seeing them again down in the beautiful Exumas. Cloudy earlier. We didn't. We went up in, I guess, the creek that you went in yesterday. Yep. And um. Dan and Kathy are super experienced boaters and have given us very valuable information. Another day comes to a close in the beautiful Exumas, the storm cloud on the horizon, and people on the charter boats still playing.
We had planned on spending several more days in the park and then doing a lot more exploring, but the forecast is calling for our first cold front in the Bahamas. So we're going to head on south and try to find somewhere to tuck in a little bit.